Hello guys, this is CRG, turn up the game and welcome to an episode of Everdale. In this episode we will teach you how you can change the name of all your villagers to whatever you want. Let's go! Guys, I've been waiting for this for such a long time, ever since Everdale was released. I really wanted to customize my village and I didn't know how to do it and I really found Cosmin, it out. Cosmin, yes. Cosmin, what are you talking about? About something I found out by mistake yesterday. What? To rename my villagers. Look at this. Look at these names. Ah. I can rename my villagers. I don't know if this was implemented since the beginning of Everdale, but, but nobody told me how to do it and I found it by mistake yesterday. I will show you now, Madeline. Pay really okay. good attention. How, what you need to do is go into, I mean, into the, into the, um, into the menu of all the villagers or go directly on one of the villagers, press on him, Press the I, and after you press the I, go next to his name in the top side of the screen, press oh. the three dots, and you can rename the uh, specific um, the specific villager, and you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, si uh, 16, I think, 16 characters, you can rename him to whatever you like, and the other players from the valley will see the new names of your uh, specific character. But you know, Madeline, what would be some good usages of doing this? Uh, I'm thinking that my, I mean, our Carolina, because we have a, a, a common villager, can be named Woody in my case, because now she okay. is cutting wood. <laughs> okay, so I, I renamed yeah. everyone in, let's say, Romanian names because we are from Romania. So this girl, Carol, the ex Carol, Carolina, Carolina, is now called Bucatarica, which means the one who's making food. <laughs> this one is called Master Chef because he's usually used for making food. You can see also the costume. Then we have Lemnutsa and Lemnutsu, which basically tra translates to Woody, as Madeline said. Then you have El Profesor. Everybody knows El Profesor. I mean, the one who studies all the time, I told you. Keep somebody studying all the time. Then you have Pomentuza, which basically means the one who's doing clay. And then you have Pietrica. And Pietrica yeah. basically translates to the stone man. And you can see Pietrica yeah. here is has level uh, one at stone masoning, soon level two. Because now in the valley, Madeline, tell them about all our um, guilds. We yeah. have unlocked all the yeah. guilds, right? Yes, finally we have all of them. Yeah. Um, so let's see the farmer's guild is level three the researcher's guild is level four which is the most important yeah. guild from our valley the woodcutters guild is level two the clay diggers level two also stone manson almost level two we are working on it yeah. and finally the builders guild which is the really most recent important. one is only level one but we are very very focused on upgrading our villi uh valley because we have a new member so now we are nine members mm -hmm. in our valley mm -hmm. and we are uh struggling for example in the bakery now there are only two slots available this All is right. why that's, that's we are trying to upgrade it as fast as possible yeah. in order to m be able to complete the events faster also the boats because they are very very important in the game and um what else let's I see i would like to mention something that soon we will release an episode on what buildings you need to upgrade in the valley what should be the order and also what should be the order in which you in which you upgrade the guilds this is directly linked to education because you see right here we uh, mentioned in some of the episodes but we didn't really do an episode on that you can upgrade the level of your villagers to specific tasks like for example here uh, master chef here has level two at cutting trees and level three at farming what uh, what this means we will tell you in this um, video about education but basically one of the most important skills that you should have is farming because farming not only lets your player your villager gather uh, pumpkins faster but will also help into getting wheat for example or cotton faster so if i assign mm -hmm. master chef here who's level three in farming to this cotton field it takes him four hours and 36 minutes to do it while el profesor which is level uh, one takes five hours and 27 minutes while while pamantuza say takes <laughs> six hours okay. because she's level zero at farming and that's really really important okay uh, so with this possibility to change the name of the of your villagers you can name uh, the person who is faster in uh, let's say uh, clay diggers yeah. maybe you can call it clay chloe clay something clay, and yeah. yeah and snowy 
Stony, Stone, actually. Stony. 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 Stony is something else, Madalini. Something, somebody that is, is, is doing drugs. <laughs> I would say. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Chefel Professor. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think I think they are really pretty names for pretty for names. the villagers. Correct, correct. Uh, efficiency, efficiency is something that we will cover in another episode. Why, for example, here the efficiency of the um, upgrading of the home is only seventy. Basically, just a quick answer: you don't have enough food. Otherwise, everything is perfect. So clay storage and stone storage is next to the home that is being built. That requires stone and uh, clay. Uh, I also have on Lemnutsa a mixture of fullness, which means that she can work without having to eat. But at some point, the potion will wear off, and then she would have to eat. But unfortunately, in some time, I will not have enough soup, and that's why efficiency is lowest. Anyhow, we will cover, as I said, this in another episode. Madeline, would you like yes. to say something about the valley or about your village? Because I'm looking now at your village and I'm very happy to say that you are over 22,000 stars, hearts, sorry. And you yep. are amazing with such a low, let's say, level village. And you didn't put any money into the game. That's correct? Where are yes, you? yes, you're 100% uh, percent correct regarding this, especially that I was focused yeah. on ex- uh, researching, as you mentioned, as we mentioned during uh, uh, our every episodes. Mm-hmm. Um, now I'm focused on trying to increase my storages, as you mm-hmm. mentioned, especially on the stone, because uh, we need a lot of stone right. in, 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 um, in our constructions on mm-hmm. of our valley. And also I was trying to keep an eye on the reputation road because with any um, checkpoint reach there, I have the possibility to win something yeah. by opening the reward chests, right. also the big reward chest. And this is how I, I was able to reach so fast 20k hearts in less than a month. Nice. Less than a month. We will do an yep. episode on that once. Uh, me and Madeline will reach uh, 28,000 hearts, which means that we will finish the reputation road with regard to the upgrades that we can make for our, uh, let's say, interaction with the valley. So it will be yep. max skill level 10. And by the way, you see down here a message, minus 57 uh, hearts in 23 hours and 9 minutes after you pass 20,000 hearts, right? 20,000 hearts you will start losing hearts every day. Uh, That's just um, the mechanism that is used so that a player will not stagnate at a higher level of of hearts. He will get reduced hearts. So you have to strive a little bit faster to reach 28K. However, the episode here was about changing the names of the the villagers. If I want to make, if I can make a, a summary again, tap on a village, tap on the I, tap on the three dots here and you can rename your villagers to whatever you want you can even use special characters i don't know exactly how many special characters you can use but as you can see i can use everything that is here on the on the keyboard and of course when i assign my player my um, villager to do a specific task people will see their name that i gave them this was yes, it guys and yeah. also i have checked right now you can use the same name for two different villagers oh, if okay. you want i okay. don't know if you want but you can do yeah, it yeah, yeah. <laughs> even so exactly the same name yeah that's cool <laughs> okay guys this was it this was the end of the episode if you want us to continue making everdale content like this episode uh, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because we will do weekly episodes on everdale anything else from your side Madeline? yes yeah, stay close to us play everdale see you and bye bye